Watch his sword. Watch his sword. Oh wait, we're not going to see it. Ooh, stats, stats, stats. Previous match, 14-3-11 as Tusk. Sixty-four forty-seven. You're the victim of a mafia game. Oh, I was actually playing Mafia GG the other day. It's actually pretty fun. Oh goody! I'm so terribly excited. Come on, I on am in. Wait, what is this? Camera. Hey, camera. You, camera. You want to wake up, camera? Thirty seconds. No, it, it it's it's quap safe. They're running shining in the mid against the Medusa. Quap safe lane, guys. Fight, fight, fight. They're all in. It will miss. Medeka is able to snag the bounty. Room. But Silent Stuff has to purge himself. But I don't think it's going to be enough. Dead Vins draws first blood. Ah, first blood. <laughs> Quap safe lane. I mean, these are kind of the only lanes you can do i guess theoretically you could swap around deadly oh my god they're going for more medeka already down to about half hp no gold for you uh no you could i suppose switch deadlings and bib but this feels safer because you can always blink away from Tusk's fields. Dead things, obviously. Like, his right-click damage getting stolen like this is annoying. But he's still going to be able to, once he gets some levels up in Ven Poison or Venomous Scale. Oh my god! YYH will not be stopped! This Earth Spirit is on, like, super aggression. Score, it's 0-1. This is the first game of this series, though. Bib? Dial's top tower is How are you go? Yeah, I mean, like, this is... Shining is winning the mid lane, actually. That's kind of what I expect. A hero who isn't super mana dependent actually has, like... Also has a really small mana pool. Which means that Mystic Snake won't do anywhere near as much mana regen for this Medusa. And they kill off Jester in the bottom lane. Eclipse, they are going absolutely ham down here. Zoo, is he in trouble? No, but YYA should be able to get, uh, pull himself out. Radiance Trump Tower is under siege. I need to use a different music pack. This one is not. There's like all of these odd stretches. Like odd long stretches of no music and it's weird. They could be- I don't- I, I'm pretty sure I have music turned on. Yeah. See? Just abnormally long stretches. They do have- the fall uh purifying flames onto sue taking some damage but they're rolling from yyh does he get he gets the boldest match they're going to be able to kill off sue but medeco also loses his life jester trying to chase down yyh but won't be able to quite catch up to him and oh a piece of candy we find an invis rune as well 
And this is going to shining. Does he have like a mango or anything? He doesn't. YYH does he? YYH has a mango. Goes ahead, gives it to shining. They've got the control here. They're going to push back. Boulder smash? Yeah, I'm like, they're definitely doing that. Boulder smash back to the tower. Sue rotates in and they get another kill. Well played by YYH. Must say. Earth Spirit. He is coming up swinging. Radiance Middle Tower is being attacked. Able to kill, finish off Deadlings there, but Jester actually pretty low here. A roll in, will it land? It's not quite far enough. The Boulder Smash also off the mark. Madeka taking a little bit of damage, but Jester, Sue, can he find the damage? He needs a couple more right clicks on either one of them, and it's just not gonna happen. Double damage. Uh, double damage? Why, thank you. I will farm up some stacks for myself. Got double damage. Sven is just always scary. Jester, they kill off Sue, so no minus two intelligence this time. But he is dead. The boulder smash also lands onto Medeka. And Jesus Christ. They are able to... Oh, Sefzon gets the kill onto Bib in the top lane while this is all going on. We're six to four, five minutes into this game, and we are showing no signs of slowing down, guys. 37 to six is the creep score for Shining, versus the 27 and four of the Medusa. Obviously, Medusa will eventually farm better, and Shining in a lot of trouble right here. He's out of regen. Five minute has ticked over, so he's going to be able to run his little booted feet up to that shrine, pop it, and drink some of that sweet, sweet nectar. Denied. How's the Razor doing? The razor is 13 and 7. Compared to 21 and 6 of Deadlings. Deadlings. 2, 1 and 2. Razor, 1, 2 and 2. As we get another roll in on the tomato. He's out of mana. He's su Oh, the snowball. Saving his life for now, but will it be enough? Tomato, the shards! But there's the last right click from Sue to come through, and Sefzon's gonna have to retreat back to the safety of the tower. And another kill coming the way of Eclipse, as they just will not be, be silenced here. Oh. Blink onto Lustrous, Boulder Smash, roll. Does, uh, he, he used Swashbuckle aggressively, so he didn't have it to get himself out of that sticky situation. Oh my god, they're going for more. Dead things, he's gonna get rooted up, but Sue has joined the party. There is the heal coming out from Medeka. Jester, is he going to be able to get out of here? It's just a level one last word. And now we have Lustrous. He TP'd in. Sue's going to be the first casualty of this. Medeka trying to run away, but he gets caught by all of these traps. He will end up going down. Deadlings gets that kill. Will he be able to trap Lustrous in here? Lustrous has a swashbuckle. Is he going to use it aggressively? I think that would basically be his death. They know where Deadlings is, but there's so many Plague Wards in there. Snowball coming forward. Lustrous does drop the Swashbuckle, but they dropped the Poison Nova as well. Lustrous slowly ticking down. He's going to go down. Seth Zahn, he's also going to be taking out to this. Plus two, plus two, plus two. Ding, ding, ding. Up to 12 stolen intel at seven minutes into this game. Bib jumps in with the Sonic Wave, finds the kill on the Jester. And that is going to be... Your first 10 kills goes the way of Eclipse. They're up to actually 12 right now. Only a thousand gold ahead at this eight minute mark. But the top two net worths squarely in their hands. As Razor, he's coming mid, they... Ooh, wait, what? 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 
Mudaikin steps on, able to kill off Sue. They're going in for more. Jester, he's got the steel going, but it's just not going to last long enough. YYH is caught here. He has a roll up in two seconds, but he is not going to live long enough to get that off. I never pulled my Middle tower is being attacked. We heard you guys liked action. So we gotta do some action with your action. Lustrous, a swashbuckle defensively. He's gonna have to roll in thunder. He gets silenced by the last word though before it comes off. Can he get away from this one more right click? It's not gonna be enough. Speedy little pangolin rolls his way to freedom. Now it is his turn to imbibe some of the life-giving nectar of the shrine. As Shining... How is Shining this far ahead of a Medusa? He's also going for a Hand of Midas just to make sure that he can keep up with that Medusa in terms of farm as she has rotated into the jungle. And we all know what happens when Medusas do that. Working towards a Manta style as her first item. Lustrous has Hood of Defiance. That's the hunt. He's got. He, he realizes what's happening right now. Eclipse, they're just going to be running at you, and you need to be tanky to survive it. Sue is stuck within the ice shard, but they've dropped the sonic wave. Snowball coming through. Sue might be in a bit of trouble. They have the stream of pain. Is it going to be enough damage? Sue does go down, so Lustrous will not lose that two intel. But all of the bounty runes. Oh, wait, Lustrous did get that top bounty rune as well. My bad. So not all bad. Jo going in deep onto Medeka. False promise is not there. The roll forward from YYH and goodbye, sweet Oracle. Tomato comes down here just to try to farm up a little bit. Gets clipped by a Venomous Gale, though. Or Poison. Yeah, Venomous Gale. They have the Poison Nova as well. Tomato, he's out of mana. He's slowly ticking down. I don't think he can stand. He can't. Dead Beans gets the kill on the tomato they lose the tower the snowball coming through this should be a kill the shards they do catch on to that venomancer and his toxins will have to go back to the drawing board for about 25 seconds Boulder Smash is going to slow down Sefson, but they do have the Purge there to get him out safely. Good God, look at Shining's farm. He is 1,500 gold ahead of Tomato. As how many deaths does Tomato have? Three deaths on that Medusa. Really hurting her overall net worth. Snowball, why why she tried to run, but the snowball gave vision for the purifying flames. Now Sue is going to be the next target here. Tag team comes out, they get the slows down. Jester, you're not even needed. Get out of here, Carrie. The sports have got this. However, Bib can blink away to safety. Almost killed off by that level 8 Pingalier. Dyer's top tower is under siege. A 
tomatoes on the tomato. Tomato's already out of mana. I say tomato, you say tomato. And tomato's gotta run. They have the rolling thunder. Oh my god, the damage is there. Sepsot is able to explode Bib, and now they have the perfect ice shards blocking off the stairs. Poison Nova comes out. But dead things, he gets one venomous gale off as well. He's going to get locked down here. Trying to drop these uh, plague wards just to keep Sefzon in under control. They drop the Atos, roll in, magnetize as well. But the vision to the high ground, YYH does not want to let this go. However, he is in a lot of trouble. He's going to have to roll away. He's going to make it. He's going to live to fight another day. Biz forward instantly though he's going to get most of his right click damage drain there the roll in instantly cancels out that tp jester oh they missed his scream of pain but it's fine they get the kill on jester yyh doesn't actually end up dying and while that's going on dead things is getting engaged on again Seth zon with these ice shards has been absolutely impeccable Every single time I see them, they are blocking off one or two people in just the perfect way that allows the rest of his team to catch up and get the kill. But well, while this is going on, Shining keeps on farming. 15 minutes is coming up. We will see how these bounty rooms. It looks like Photon Gaming. Looking to take at least these bottom two. YYH, he gets disarmed and instantly a roll out from uh, that Earth Spirit. Oh, well. Lustrous, he wants more. We'll threaten out that Rolling Thunder, but the Rolling Boulder gets him away. So many Rolling Things. That used to be a silencer. It is no longer a silencer, it is now a pile of ice. But don't worry, in about 20 seconds it will be a silencer again. He has not gotten a single... He has not stolen any more intel since 7 minutes into this game, guys. Medeka kills off Bib as well. And Photon Gaming, they've drawn the kill score even, although Medeka... He's probably about to touch. Let's be honest here. He's got false promise, we'll use it on himself. But there is the Atos from Dead Things to cancel out that TP. But they could try as he might, all he can do is buy a few extra seconds for the, his team to farm. Jester, not going to be hit by YYH coming in there. It's literally Sue the roll in this time. Will land, cancels out that TP. And the two supports bring down the mighty Razor. I guess, like, together their net worth is actually higher than Jester's, so why not? Good God, Shining is quick. Yasha phase boots, 505 movement speed when he has those activated. Tomato actually starting to catch up to Shining in terms of net worth. Uh, Dead Veins is going straight for this Aghanim. Only needs about a thousand more gold for it. So I'm expect expecting to see that come out pretty soon. Jester is here. They're rotating in the Pango as well. Dead Veins, he needs to get out of here, but they're rolling Thunder. Might not let him. Lustrous coming in. Duke. Can he juke it? He can't. I think he's dead. The snowball coming in as well. He drops the poison nova. It does land onto three. Despite the global silence coming out, YYH able to kill off Medeka. 
And Poison Nova, it's still ticking. It's still doing the damage. Jester, he's going to get targeted out by Bib. But oh my god, the Waller's Punch. What? The Waller's Punch kills him off. Snowball not going to be able to land onto YYH. But Jester actually gets denied by a neutral creep. Top tower is under siege. Because ah, uh, because Poison Nova can't do lethal damage, guys. Nice. Not often do you get denied at 18 minutes into the game by the easy camp. Middle tower is being but again, Tomato keeps on farming. By the hundreds of gold is slowly knocking down the lead of Shining, going for a butterfly. Shining is going for Satanic. Snowball forward, Dead Things is yet again going to be a dead thing. As the shield crash finishes, finishes him off. But they have their roll in onto Sefzan. He is going to be dead. They get the silence up onto the blink opening his party. Now onto Lustrous and now with Magnetize. Is it going to be enough to tick him out? Yes, it will. The pipe, it's not enough uh, damage resistance. Twenty minutes in, forty-two kills in the game. Bounty runes, how are they going to go? Oh no. Jester was able to kill off that, uh, kill off the courier, but it gets the two, two bounty runes and they'll get the, they'll get both of the bounty runes. So getting all four bounty runes, that will go quite a bit of a ways towards offsetting that. Shining. God, that mantle style gets used. Shining has to turn around. He actually is going to get turned into stone. Before he has a chance to sto turn out that Stormworm Hammer. Medeko waiting in the wings. Oh my god, Shining. They stopped the, the Boots of Travel TP in and now Tomato in so much trouble. The False Promise is there from Medeka. But I don't know if there's going to be enough healing. They have the uh, Global Silence. They're going to make sure the Tomato is dead. Sue goes down to Lustrous and now they're coming up, up the Aegonim Scepter. Not yet completed by Dead Things. It's just a normal Poison Nova going through. Jester taking a lot of damage here. YYA able to get that kill, but now he's being tar targeted down. The Sonic Wave lands onto three, though. BKB by YYA. Where did he get that? Lustrous going to be chased down now. So Shining going for Seth Zahn. Realizes he doesn't quite have the mana to go for that. They're going to get four for two. How does YYH have a BKB already? This, like, what is his, this support, YYH? 8, 2, and 11. Incoming Earth Spirit nerfs. Bib is going Greaves. Greaves Qu This is going to be the second time we've seen Greaves Quap. Or personally, I've seen Greaves Quap. This one working out quite a bit better than the last one did. I love this. Sue on this silencer knows everyone. It's just so scrappy this entire game. He's got three bracers. He's got more bracers than the enemy tusk. Tomato decides against the butterfly, instead going straight for a Scotty. Needs about 500 gold for it. Fortification comes out, Photon Gaming. They're really hoping that maybe somebody on Eclipse will walk up the stairs and whether or not they want it, they're about to get their wish as 
Uh, global silence gets used. This is the Aghanim Scepter coming out this time. So that is going to be dealing so much damage. YYH, Y Shining is actually, he gets the kill onto Lustrous, but he goes down. They've lost YYH, they've lost Shining. Snowball coming forward onto Dead Beans. They're going to find another kill. And so now this is three for one. Sue going for the TP out. He's going to make it. Sefzan was just not in range for the Walrus Punch. But you know what? Three for one going back the other way. And we're still sitting at about even for the gold, about even on the experience, and dead even on the win percentage charts. Dyer's top tower is being attacked. So he did get another two intel. Fourteen armor, fifteen K or fifteen hundred HP. Bib has now finished off his grease, so should be able to keep everyone alive a little bit longer. The duration. Sixty-five seconds over the course of eight, or hundred damage over the course of eighteen seconds. Medeka going for the TP out. YYH will be like, okay, you can give me. We're going to go for the bigger target in Tomato, but the Stone Gaze comes out. YYH, he didn't quite make it up the hill. He will be turned to stone, however, Tomato, Stone Gaze has ended here. Dead Beans is going to turn around. Shining comes in as well, but there's Sefzon. They've dropped the Sonic Wave. They're going to be able to kill off Jester. Tomato is going to be next, and now Sefzon, he's ticking down something fierce. With all of these dots, Arcane Curse, Poison Steam, Poison Nova. These dots are getting to be serious trouble. Anyway, it is a th two for three back the other way. That's a, actually a 2300 gold swing towards Eclipse as they were able to kill off two very high value cores and only losing the Venomancer and the Earth Spirit in return. This is like risky. They have, okay, scan comes out. There is no vision here whatsoever. 10, 20 seconds though, until Medusa's back up. They don't want to buy back. They know what's going on, but they're going to decide against any sort of contest. I'm at Roshan Luster. Tried to steal out the, the Rosh kill at least. And Actually, go. It's not even about the Aegis. Being completely blind, that was impressively close to the correct time to steal that Roche. And now Shining on the chase. He does have Satanic finished off. Just purchased that up. Well, actually, he just purchased the Hyperstone for his AC. So it's going to be hard to kill him. Tomato. What do you have to contest this? He's got the Scotty finished, bought a Mask Madness as well. Sue kills off Lustrous, and now they have the Atos on to Tomato here. He gets silenced up. He used Mask of Madness, he can't pop Stone Gaze! False Promise, gonna be used there just to keep him alive. He has to use the Stone Gaze now. And I, he should be okay, but that Mask of Madness usage almost like, was Doom Bells for him. And now, no Stone Gaze rolling from YYH. The Global Silence as well. They know False Promise is also down. 80 seconds in the grave for that Medusa. They get the root onto Sefzon as well. He's going to have to snowball for just a couple more seconds of life. He is going to be destroyed by Shining. Instant buyback from that toss. But they're already going to have lost their tier 3 tower. The fortification comes out at the last second. But it's just... Uh, prolonging the inevitable. Look at how many 
uh, wards there are here. With that venomous gale summons two wards. They start to add up, and Rolling Thunder from Lustrous coming in. He's going to jump over the Ice Shards, trying to find something in the back lines here. Nice Shield Crash, finds YYH. Swashbuckle, Shield Crash. He should be able to finish off that Earth Spirit. But no, YYH gets the Rolling Boulder away. Jester with his BKB gets the kill onto Dead Beans. And Walrus Punch finishes off Sue. Shining turns around. He wants to fight this. He's got Satanic. He's got the Aegis. He's got Lifesteal. But he can't hit anything. He's been disarmed by the Fates Edict. That's on. Finally starting to feel a little bit of a pinch. But there is the False Promise coming back up. Snowball forward onto Shining into another Walrus Punch. They are able to cut open that Aegis Carrier. Last minute face edict saves Bib from the damage of the Scream of Pain, but Shining now back at full HP, full mana, full health. The Fates Edict from Medeka doing so much. Another uh, Walrus Punch, but eventually, one by one by one, Seth's on, keeps himself alive for a little bit with another snowball forward, but there is the storm hammer and one swipe of the massive sword of this Sven finishes him off. And now that that stone gaze has worn off, it's time to kill off the or uh, Medusa yet again. And with that four dead, only the Oracle left to defend this. Photon Gaming, they call GG. The mid lane Sven coming out of nowhere 